Hello there guys, welcome to Survival Russia. It is extremely hot today and uh, yeah, so anyway for me it's like plus 30 or something. And uh, I'm down at the pond because I'm digging some clay because we're gonna make a sand and clay and grass oven today. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I made an oven, uh, I don't know, some years ago. Not, not, not uh, the same type as I'm gonna make today, but uh, my mother-in-law liked it very much and she's here visiting. Yay! <laughs> but uh, yeah, she asked me if a while ago if I could make her a new one and blah, 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 blah. So uh, we're gonna make an awesome oven today and uh, if I can make this work, then I know that I can also make it up at the, at the Frontiers campsite over in the forest. But I'm sweating like I don't know what because uh, I say it's hot. There's a lot of insects down here. Then we have Pink Ninja. She's helping out in her own way. Down here we have some clay. We have a little clay mine. Here's the clay we're gonna use. It's pretty good quality. So of course there's a lot of of plant material and so on in it, but uh, I mean it's clay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's get digging and let's get building an oven. So the sand we took from down here, there's some sand there, there, and up here is also a little sand mine. <coughs> so we have the driveway, and uh, my, my plan is, uh, this is completely off topic, but uh, yeah, my plan is to push this whole berm out there and a little bit more. I actually would like to get this oven done here because it was really awesome to have last time. We of course have electrical ovens and uh, we also, also have some uh, what's called a Russian oven uh, that heats our house. But that's a completely different matter. But you can bake in them. But uh, this is going to be awesome because uh, then my mother-in-law and my wife are most likely going to bake some chicken and some bread and some piroshki and stuff like this in this little oven here. That's going to be pretty interesting, I think. So here we have a plush palatka. An old Soviet Russian uh, army canvas top. They're pretty sturdy. This guy has been sitting on the bulldozer for two years straight. Then we have some clay with a little bit of grass in it. Because there we have some grass and there we have some sand. Over there we have some uh, willow. Blah blah blah. Let's get building. Alright guys, so we're gonna make the oven down here. And uh, of course gonna make a floor of this thickness here just of uh, sand and clay then we're gonna build a frame of a uh, willow i guess you could use birch and any kind of flexible branches really so of course not come up with this design here myself the the first oven i built that I, I certainly designed by myself but it was quite complex and i also used uh, quite a number of bricks as a frame and so on so uh, i don't i and, and a lot of clay, by the way. <laughs> so uh, I, I didn't want to, to do that again. But uh, since I'm watching uh, Jazz Townsend's channel, he's like a do 17th, 18th century reconstruction. So yeah, he can consider this a shout out. Anyway, he's a lot bigger channel than me. But uh, he, he makes some nice uh, small uh, clay ovens. And, uh, out, and and the plan today is to try and make one of the, the clay ovens he's making. It's most likely gonna be a little bit of a my own survival Russia twist to things. That's, that's, that's how it always goes when you build something. But uh, let's mix up some uh, sand, clay, grass, make the floor, make the frame and uh, get this oven done and let's uh, try and try it out. It should be perfect weather actually to do this. The sand and clay about 50 50 normally when you have clean clay and clean sand as far as i know is something like uh, uh one third of clay to two thirds of sand or something like this this anyway what we we use here for uh, repairing ovens and uh, and stuff like that but uh, since this sand is not 100 percent clean it's just something i dug out there there's most likely a little bit of of uh, clay in this sand. There's most likely also a little bit of sand and stuff in the clay. So 50-50, maybe a little bit uh, more sand. That should actually do. And then we're gonna mix in some grass later on. Good look, Cynthia. You see there's also good amount of roots and stuff in this clay here. But uh, 
It's actually not too bad, not for this project anyway. We could of course make it uh, just on the ground, but uh, Mr. Townsend was also using a, a tarp, and uh, that's actually a great idea. It repels the water quite nicely, even uh, it had been out, sitting outside for those two years, summer and winter on the bulldozer. Mix up this sand and uh, clay here to the best of our abilities. Whoa! All right, guys. So uh, while I'm standing here doing the 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 sand and clay dance, sand and clay boogie woogie. Then uh, I can say one thing I found out when uh, using uh, natural clay or fresh clay, wild clay, whatever we call it, not the uh, factory clay or what you can say. It is that uh, it is most likely a very good idea to uh, try and dissolve the clay by itself without too much sand to begin with. Because uh, this, uh, this clay here is, is really tough stuff. I'm amazed about the strength of this uh, canvas tarp here. Two years, man, in minus 40, plus 30, what not, rain, snow, and it's still strong. I mean, this is not light by any standards. I think we're getting there with the sand and clay mix here. And for, for the bottom of the oven, I'll not use any straw or anything like that. Just sand and clay. So the reason that that uh, that the dragon, uh, oh, excuse me, that uh, my mother-in-law asked me to to make this oven if I could make one again, is of course that for using these Russian ovens to bake in, you have to heat the house. <laughs> and uh, this we surely do not want at the, this time of year normal. Clay mix here actually seemingly became uh, much better than I thought it would be actually. <laughs> Doesn't seem bad at all. The cloud up there would disappear because sunlight is obviously too strong for the gnats or gnats as they are called actually. It's a little bit later in the evening now. I just went and had some food and sitting and talking with the family and tra la 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 la. But now we're gonna make the frame here and uh, we're gonna cover the frame up with some uh, clay mix over there, of course. We have a nice big sausage there. So, uh, yeah, let's get it done. There's of course an insane amount of midges, nets, whatever we call them. Now this is principally how it's gonna go. So the general construction is done. This is gonna be the rear. And here we're gonna have the loading gate. Now gonna weave some uh, some small twigs, branches in between in this direction here of course. As we can see, the cage there is uh, principally done. It's going to be interesting to uh, to see how this is going to turn out. These uh, ribbons here of fabric across. Buy and anchor them down here with the first ring of uh, of clay of Mr. Townsend's oven. You can see that the that the clay had been falling through the the grid there, so to speak. So I'll try and uh, prevent that by using uh, the ribbons there and anchor them so they will not uh, give way, you can say, for the, from the weight of the, of the clay and sand mix and stuff like that. Forest can of course use bark and stuff like that uh, instead, of, uh, instead of fabric or grass or whatever, but uh, we're at the homestead, so why not? <laughs> Uh, 
It's a really, really tough fabric. <laughs> but it's natural. And, uh, and that is a good thing because uh, we of course gonna burn all of this stuff here out. So there we have the, the Hobbit oven. It's gonna be rather interesting if this works or what. <laughs> to do is just making some cakes just like this in uh, two, three centimeters thick or something. And then apply them to the frame. That worked all right with the, with the last uh, oven I made. Of course, try and apply it relatively evenly also. Not to put too much weight on one side and blah, 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 because it's actually quite heavy. So it's basically done, the oven. We have a pink ninja, she's been helping out. So uh, that's the oven. What I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill some coals into the oven and maybe some coals around the, the base of the oven and uh, try and dry it out just a little bit. And uh, maybe make a small fire in there this evening, not enough to burn the the fabric and to burn the frame out that we're gonna do tomorrow. So guys, I hope you like this little video here. I hope you like the oven, and I uh, hope you will uh, check the links in the description and sub share, subscribe, sub bell, sub like, all that good stuff. And until next time, hopefully tomorrow, get out on train, get it done, do something awesome. And see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for your time.